Dr. Jen here with another chiropractic lesson. I've got two plants here in the practice and I'm gonna show them to you right now. Plant number one, plant number two. These plants, they're vibrant, they're healthy, they're lush. It's because I take care of them. I make sure that they get good water, I make sure that they get good sunlight and that allows them to thrive. Now, as far as watering goes, let's say you've got a plant that's just brown and withering and dead and leaves are dropping off of it and that you have a second plant and its leaves are just kind of droopy and then you have a third plant and it's vibrant and full and lush which one of those plants needs water all of them do see if I were to let my plants get all brown and dead and leaves to start dropping before I water them that's the same as waiting for symptoms to show up before you do anything about your health right and that's what we do. We wait for stuff to get withered and sick and die. Finally, symptoms show up. That's how symptoms show up. So here's how the cascade works. First, it starts with your body dysfunctioning for whatever reason. Okay, so now your tissues have a state in which they're not functioning right. Well, what happens in that case is the cells of that tissue, they start to get sick. And eventually those sick cells die. And when enough of those cells die of that tissue, symptoms show up. So by the time your symptoms show up, like a lot of times it's already too late and you can never return to an absolute 100% normal state. Same thing with these plants. If I wait for them to get brown and wither and die, it might be too late to bring them back. So what should you do? Well, with these plants, you check the soil. And when the soil is dry, you give them water. If the soil is damp or wet, they're good. Well, with your human body, a smart thing to do is to regularly maintain and take care of it. Chiropractically, that means getting your spine checked on a weekly basis. A vertebral subluxation causes your body to not function in coordination and harmony. When your body's not functioning normally, right, we just went through this cascade. When your body is not functioning normally, your cells are malfunctioning, your cells get sick, sick cells die, enough of them die, and you're in big trouble. Well, by having your spine checked for subluxation regularly, getting adjusted if necessary, it ensures that your body maintains a high level of function and so that it stays healthy. Just like these plants, you need to take care of yourself regularly. Make sure you're eating well, make sure you're exercising, make sure you've got good positive healthy relationships, and make sure that you're getting your spine checked. It's so important because it ensures that all those other healthy decisions you're making have that much more of a profound and lasting impact on your life and on your health. That's today's lesson. Catch you guys in the next video.